Okay, the S120 drive with uh, starter, diagnostics and hints. Um, there's a bunch of diagnostics built into the uh, starter uh, software suite to talk to the drives. Um, and one of the first things you see is that we have uh, the main drive heading. We have uh, drive unit one. Uh, you gotta remember under the control unit there are multiple drives. Uh, that one CU320 actually controls uh, up to 12 depending on how you're running them. Uh, in this case, uh, this control unit is going to be controlling uh, just a couple drives. Uh, they're actually expanded out here. Let me shrink them down. So there's the two drives. Uh, just generic labels for them. Uh, expand out the other, expand it by hitting a little plus sign. Anytime you see a plus sign, it means it can be expanded. Uh, if you look down at the bottom there, you'll see the alarms and warnings, and faults. Uh, you can always run with an alarm, uh, but by default, we'll stop the drive. Uh, you got an alarm it may be telling you uh, that you're getting ready to have a fault, but until it faults, uh, you won't actually stop. Um, so in the alarm history tab down at the bottom there, and you see the history uh, buffer it doesn't go away when you power cycle. Uh, these drives right now don't uh, uh, have any faults, they just have an alarm. <clears throat> you can go to the alarm history from the uh, drive navigation as well. Uh, let's say you closed up the tab for alarm history. So you can just click on it there um, and it'll bring back the alarm history of whatever's in that CU. Uh, or you can just change this pull down and uh, jump around. And that's pretty much universal with uh, anything that shows up in this window, not just alarms. You can look at the missing enables. This, this is what tells you it needs to be made uh, to run. You can see the status and the uh, control word. go to the control panel for a drive um, in this case we're just gonna you know look at it to see the monitoring of what's going on if the drive was running you'd see the speed and the torque and the uh, current and uh, frequency would all be active and a good monitoring point um, you can uh, assume control but that's for tuning and doing other diagnostics uh, there's two buttons here that show you less information or more information. Uh, then we can go up to the um, topology, which is up above the CU. This is where all those little drive click, those Ethernet like cables, the white ones that are interconnected between the drives. This is where you see how they're set up in the project and then you can actually see how they actually are in the actual um, they have to match 100% if anything doesn't match the drives won't run 